I'm not the biggest fan of Speedy Gonzalez, and that's not just because of the issues with the character's accent when voiced by Mel Blanc, um, but also just because I just don't generally find those cartoons that interesting. However, Cats and Bruises is one that I actually thought was not too bad. This is a Warner Brothers cartoon from 1965, directed by Fritz Freeling and Holly Pratt. And of course we have Mel Blanc as Speedy Gonzalez and Sylvester, and this is set around Cinco de Mayo, and honestly I feel like they could have done more with that. I don't feel like it, it really... You know, it could have been set at any point. I don't think it really encapsulated that very much. Not that I know a great deal about it, but certainly based on other cartoons I've seen, they could have kind of lent into that a little bit more. Um, and of course, Sylvester is um, chasing after Speedy, and Speedy is speeding away. And I have to say, what I what I liked about this, and I think the reason it appealed to me, is because Speedy has some fantastic lines, and I think. His dialogue with Sylvester was just brilliant, and I really found, you know, what he had to say to be quite funny and quite amusing. Nothing stood out specifically that I want to mention, but just in general, I found it to be quite pleasing and, and, and rather sweet as well. Um, he sings a pretty song at one point. This The scene or the, the gag on the river, is it a river, on the water, um... I thought that played out quite well. The pacing of that was quite good. Very well animated with Sylvester just rotating round and round. Um, I rather liked that. So there were definitely bits in this that, that appealed to me that I thought were quite well. Certainly it's well animated. But I feel like they could have done more with the Cinco de Mayo aspect. Um, but that aside, it wasn't too bad. Um, having said that, even though I said I'm not the biggest fan of Speedy cartoons, it's probably not my favourite Speedy Gonzalez cartoon that I've seen. But I still liked it. I still have quite a few to see, though. I... I'm running out of Warner Brothers cartoons that feature the, the key protagonists, but certainly I have quite a few Speedy Gonzales ones left, so we'll see if my opinion changes as I delve a little bit deeper into them. But for now, Cats and Bruises is one that I didn't mind, and I think it's worth having a watch. <laughs> 